encounters happening in the southern border this month alone. 11,000 expected in a matter of weeks per day. Are we ready for this? Is any city? So this week, a fed up group of lawmakers determined to get to the bottom of why this seemingly intentional breakdown of our border security has taken place, took on the Homeland Security Secretary. Watch. But, but, you're, but you are failing miserably. Do you not care? Mr. Secretary, you ought to resign. Oh, I mean, in the words of Mac, of the prior administration to separate children from their parents was one of the most heinous uh, policies um, uh, in um, in our uh, recent uh, memory. Really, reuniting families from five years ago, the biggest failure in memory. What about the eighty-five thousand unaccompanied minors, completely lost in our country? They're gone. Yeah. Let's point to one month policy from four years ago and say that's the problem. When the ongoing issue right now is kids are working in, under child labor laws and they're working really as indentured slaves and some are flat out missing. More McEnroe. Outrageous. The lies that this administration have been telling us repeatedly and that those lies have been repeated by a compliant and complicit and corrupt media. Not, not Fox, not people like you, but the vast majority of the radical leftists in our media are covering up for policies that, I mean, if you laid out a plan designed to destroy this country, you could not come up with a better plan than what has been implemented by the Biden administration. This is outrageous. They're flooding the zone. I mean, there is so much. I mean, whether it's open borders, the flood of deadly drugs, the embarrassing and dangerous surrender in Afghanistan, 40-year high inflation, record gas prices, out of control crime in our cities. That, that, that's just the beginning of the list. Transgenderism, destroying our young people, critical race theory, the, the, exacerbating the racial divide. Across the board, radical leftism is destroying this country.